Hi, in this slide, you'll notice that balance scorecards is down here. And you'll get all the stuff above and below. And anybody who's been in the business management game for some period of time has heard val missions and shared values and vision and strategy, these terms. Not that they're anything more than sort of general abstractions and sort of uh, kind of almost interchanged in some cases. I dare say that if any distributor said, look, let's go to our top three, four, five um, managers or let's go to all our branch managers and have them write a sentence or two about what's the corporate and the branch mission statement, what are our shared values, uh, what's the vision of the, the corporation and or the branch, what's the operating strategy and so forth, there would be very little um, overlap or, or people just wouldn't know. They just do what they do. It's we're, we're a bundle of habits for better or worse. So the balance scorecard is down here and I'm saying, well, I, I'm using in a sense the hexagon instead for this. Uh, the rest of these items actually can be quite crystallized with my video clips because what I'm trying to do is provide turnkey definitions, not just for distributors, but even for distribution branches. So, for example, the mission of a distribution company, which is basically exists for hub economics, is to maximize the hub economics for one niche of customers at a time. And because we have customer wins and retention and we have a bigger share of best customers than the right niche, we sell more volume for our suppliers. And basically, our mission is to basically provide premium economics and premium growth rates for all of our stakeholders. As far as shared values, uh, you can go find shared value um, exhibits or books that have, have got the shared values of all the, you know, global 2000 corporations. And most of them come down to sort of the same five, six things. Uh, you know, everybody is about customer value innovation. Everybody's about excellence at whatever they do. Everybody's about respect for individuals and respect for partners. That would be the other stakeholders. Um, to be a learning, growing, and therefore innovating organization to be adaptable. Now, this still isn't telling us who are we going to sell and what are we going to sell them and why is our, our, our value proposition uniquely compelling and why is our value greater than our cost to serve so that we actually have a sustainable profit margin. So vision is sort of a vague definition of really a much more narrow strategy. Now here is the key thing. I'm basically saying with line item profit analytics, we can go back and discover what our historic core niches are. We can renew them dramatically. We can identify other areas that need to be dramatically fixed or basically priced to the point where they either leave or they become profitable. So it's a way of very quickly uh, generating a lot more profit power and growth power out of a traditional mess of business because we've been guilty of being too many things to too many people for too long. Um, strategy maps would be things like the service profit chain, et cetera. And, and there are a number of those that are in these clips. And I'll come back and review these a little bit. We've already been through the hexagon. And basic, basically cascading measures would be line of sight where, you know, if I asked Wally in the warehouse, Wally, what are the numbers you have to look at? And if you can directly or indirectly make those numbers happen, what's in it for you? And they can explain to me learn and earn certification salary bumps. They can explain to me gain sharing bonuses and or how that gain sharing money goes either in a bonus or a 401k matching plan or whatever. That would be a line of sight. In other words, I can see the niche. I can see the five most important customers in the niche. I understand the big eight. I know what I got to do to make those happen. And if that happens, I know how the numbers will get better over time. I have faith in that. And there it is. Now, the last thing, the strategic management system, basically, that's what you can get with a good outsourced line item profit analytics uh, solution. So you have, in a sense, four-dimensional information. You don't just have top-down financial reporting to pay your taxes on time, but you have supplier in net profitability of suppliers, items from those suppliers, categories of items or suppliers. You have the other direction from customer in. You can look at customer profitability. And then bottom up, we, we have to basically start to track and, and chart on our own in, a, in, a, in an Excel spreadsheet kind of thing. The, 
the, the big eight of service excellence, uh, published praising statements, those kinds of, of elements that go into the soup. So that's four different directions of, of information and structural discipline and reminder, automated reminders of what's important every day. So because all distributors exist, because of hub economics, uh, and all distributors are going to have, therefore, some sort of core renewal opportunity, most of these things can be, in a sense, uh, sort of generic, although very tuned, because the core niche for any given branch is going to be unique, depending on uh, who the local customers and competitors are that they can buy for. So that's uh, how this video clip sort of in a series embraces all of these, these ideas. Thank you.